Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zolder for the first round of the GR Cup in Season 2 2023. We're at Zolder yet, and I am not confident round here, but somehow I still managed to qualify second with a time two, almost two seconds off my best. Now I've been learning this track this week ready for this, it's my first time around it in an actual race, so fingers crossed we managed to survive and, and actually get to the end here, but uh, it should be an interesting race either way. Uh, so before we jump into the race properly, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more and ring that notification bell so you get told whenever I drop a new video or go live. But um, I hope you enjoy the race ladies and gentlemen, we've got a pace lap here so thanks for swinging by and I will catch you back at the beginning of when we're about to go green. Uh, just before I go though, I am planning on putting together a video on how I learn tracks and I'll use Zolder as the example so keep your eyes out for that too. I'll catch you when it's going to go green ladies and gents. Get ready. Go, go, go. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Here we are ladies and gentlemen, we've gone green and I struggle with this track. I've only recently learnt it this week, so I'm not sure how good I actually am. I seem to be about a second off what I see the fastest times being with my fastest time. But it'll be interesting to see how this race goes with it being my first time actually racing on track. And he's gone, and I'm in first. Amazing, a little bit of safety keeps it for me. Has binned it in the first chicane. Incredible, now I've just got to hold on to first if I can. This is going much better than I initially expected it to. Hopefully the guys behind are close enough that they're fighting. But it looks like we've got at least one person who's broken away a little bit. I'm still a second and a half ahead. Can I hold this until the end of the race now? We've got about 10 laps, I think. Give or take a few. It's nearly two seconds gap now. Let's hope we can hold it. We've got to limit our mistakes. So we're going to be a bit conservative into some of these corners. And there we go, we've got the gap up to two seconds now. Just be a little bit conservative into each corner. You're in the lead. That's a good first corner. Good second as well. Oh, he's catching now, though, gaining a little bit. Stop looking at your mirrors. You've got a decent gap. Just focus on in front. This is where the risk is, right here, this chicane. And we're through safely. Second time round. Amazing. We gained some time there as well. Incredible. We're just safe around here. We should manage to stay ahead. It looks like we're going to. We're losing time through the hairpin there, but on the exit, it looks like we're pretty good. And it looks like we only really have one challenger at the moment, and that's Gary Neal Adams behind us. Again, a bit conservative on entry here. Gets us a great exit, as you can see. Right, let's keep this going, see if we can, eh? Just done a 150.1. The guy behind has just done a 150. 
So the guy behind is almost on pace with us. That was a terrible turn two there. But we we didn't seem to lose much. Maybe a tenth. Oh, he's doing well behind us, though. Again, we want to be careful through this chicane. And there we go, we re-established the lead there. It seems like we're, we're being consistent enough here to keep the gap the same. This is such a tricky track, so technical in places. You've got to be so quick with your changes of direction, and you've got to really balance the weight of the car going through a few sections. Behind is now 2.1. 10 minutes remaining, 10 minutes. A lot of fun to drive, though. But like I say, I'm not confident here at all. So me being in first right now is blowing my mind. That'll have lost me a lot of time there. I was far too tight on that hairpin. Yeah, it lost me four tenths there. So again, a little bit conservative on the way in here. Little lift on the apex of the second part of that corner. But that's lost us a bunch of time there too. We lost another four tenths, but we've got a better exit. So we are getting away. You're leading. That's a new fastest lap for Adams. 149.6. Oh, he's almost within draft now. Oh, there we go. I've absolutely smashed it with that turn two there. He had a mistake somewhere. Yep, we've got a three second gap now. I can relax a little bit as we approach the hard part of the track. Which again, I'm being pretty conservative with. It's such a tricky chicane that. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. There's got to be a line that doesn't feel like you're going to die every time you go through there. There's the hard part of the track done. Still a three second gap. Coming around onto lap five now. So I think we've got about five laps to go. I think we're about halfway. Gary is clawing the time back a little bit. And honestly, on this track, with me only learning it this week, I would not be too disheartened with a second place finish. But if we're in first right now. We've got to try and hold it. Not a bad lap. Not a great lap, but not a bad lap either. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. New fastest lap for Gomez, 149.3. Looks like a really good first sector here as well. Was I back on the throttle early enough to benefit from that? It looks like I was, yeah. Now up to the chicane of death again. Bounce off those curbs in this thing. Such a forgiving car. And I even gained a tenth through there. I did not expect to be leading a race at this stage after the amount of practice that I've done. So I've probably done about 50, 60 laps of practice. And that's all I've ever done on this track. But it's a fun track. I've been having a great time learning it. I am losing time in that hairpin. He's gaining a lot of time on me through there. He 
He's got four laps to close three seconds. You could probably do it if he's good enough. I just need to be better. Good lap. That's your quickest today. Really good first corner there. And a good second one too. Now he's got to get through the hard bit again. We've extended here again though now, but he's caught up a couple of tenths through there, wherever he was just going through then. This race has been far less exciting than I expected it to be. Apologies, That's folks. Minutes remaining. We can win this. I was expecting far more drama. There's still time yet, though. So you never know. We could have some last-minute drama. The gap to Adams behind is increasing. It's now 3.3 seconds. I am surprising myself with this performance, to be fair. I mean, I haven't necessarily been quick. My times have been in the 50s. I think I had one in the 49s. Which isn't a terrible lap, but it's by no means my best. It's still a second off my best. But that hairpin seems to be where I'm losing time. Like, my line through there isn't all that good. It's not bad, but it's not good. All I want is to maintain this gap or extend it. Going on to lap seven now. Completing lap six with a 49.9. On 49.9, that's your quickest lap. That's good consistency, keep it up. We just need to remain calm and consistent now. No surprises, no mistakes. Three and a half seconds ahead with two and a half laps left to go. I was kind of slow through there, but it felt okay. Time wise, delta wise, it looks good too. That's the smoothest it's ever felt around there. I'm not on my fastest on for my fastest at the moment, but that did feel good. Let's try a different line through here now. That felt good, but I lost a lot of time through there. Like a lot of time. So I've, I've, let's just stick to what you know. Don't practice new things in the race, Deej. That's a definite way to invite disaster. On to lap eight. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Two laps remaining. White flag next time round. We're keeping the gap around about three seconds. Like I say, as long as I make no mistakes, we've got this. What a start to the new season, eh, ladies and gents? I cannot complain. We're just going to have to be really conservative through this difficult bit here now. We've only got one lap left after this. And all we need to do is make sure we get through there safely. Which we do. And the gap is still three seconds. And then we need to make sure we get through this next bit safely. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. 
We only lost a couple of tents through there. We got There's an incident in final lap camp. here. We think it might be Gomez. That's P3 who's just had a bit of a nightmare there, so we're practically guaranteed first or second. Yeah, we are losing time through that hairpin. But our exit seems to be pretty good that we, we pretty much gain it back straight away. White flag, white flag, final lap. Nearly, nearly back up to a three second gap here. It looks like we're much better through that final corner than he is. We just need to bring this home now, ladies and gents. I did not expect this today. I am telling you, this is a as much of a surprise to me as it is to you guys. Let's just see if we can actually bring it home. No mistake, Steej. He's catching. Slowly but surely catching. We've got enough of a gap that if we're just consistent, we can maintain this for the rest of the lap. And it'll be very hard for him to get us. We need to make a catastrophic mistake to lose two and a half seconds. But this is a lesson here. Like, I'm not the fastest person on track. But I guess the lesson is practice and consistency wins races. And it looks like we're actually going to get through without a single incident point as well, which is huge. Buff up that A license that we've got at the moment. That's very slow through here. That's going to give him a good chance to gain some ground on us, but he's still just under two seconds behind. Spam the YouTube link a little bit there. See if we get any subscribers. See if any of you, if you're in this race, ladies and gents, and you came through from that link spam, please do say hi in the comments. Fantastic racing with you all. That is a well victory done, in our first, today. our first week of the season in the Probably GR Cup. Trying to keep you on this circle. Good racing, Gary. Hey, uh... I tried to keep the gap as uh, big as I could, but there was a couple of places in the track where you were closing it. Got me worried. <laughs> and you as well. <laughs> See, I, I only learnt this track this week. I've done about maybe 50 laps on it, and this is my first race on it. Yeah, same here, same here. I love it. Very technical track. Pretty difficult. A good race, guys. That's nice. It's always nice when people chat to you in there, uh, chat to you afterwards. Let's do one more YouTube spam. And let's have a look at our laps here and see how consistent we actually were. So there we are. Obviously, the first lap's going to be a bit slow. It was a 150 ticks. But then we were 150, between 150.1 and 150.9 on all but one lap where we actually broke into the 49s. That to me is pretty slow. But, uh,. My fastest is only a 48.5. I've seen 47s. My optimal is like a 47.4, but I've not just man not managed to chain the lap together yet. But we start off our GR Cup for the season with a win, ladies and gentlemen, here at Zolder. Surprising. I know. I didn't expect it either. Brand new track to me, but uh, yeah, I'm chuffed with that. Uh, if you want to get involved with racing with me, make sure you click the link for the Turn 1 Discord down there. Um, if you want to get involved in iRacing and you aren't yet, there's also a referral link down there if you want to get involved. Make sure you hit the like button, guys, the subscribe button, do all that YouTube loveliness, uh, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you th thought of the race. Um, as always, though, I have been Deej. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.